friend Aaron Thomas plays in a maiden cover band somewhere in the Virginia southern state, some hillbilly shit. This is what they're called. They're really good. He is a bass player, but he's the vocalist in this band. Check them out. Okay, last week, remember the descending version? <laughs> We're taking the same idea, we're reversing it. So now instead of, you know, it's now. We're actually using the same frets and everything, but here's the weird thing. If you want it to be three, two, one. Now, we're actually using the same frets and everything, but here's the weird thing. If you want it to be um, outside picking, your first note is an upstroke. Look, if you want, you, you know what the notes are. Look, I don't want to get into that. You know what the notes are. You're using 8, 10, 12 on the um, low E and A, using 9, 10, 12 on the, the middle two strings D and G. And you're actually coming and you're using your 8, 10, 12 again on the B and a high E. Now. I'm okay at doing it with outside picking. I think this may be a Paul Gilbert style um, issue, and I think Troy Grady's actually addressed it, but whatever. Anyways, at the end of the day, I don't think I'd ever use this run, but it feels comfortable for me to start it on an upstroke. Uh, it feels extremely bizarre to start it on a down. And actually, what we're doing is we are start. We're starting just a, a small sequence is going to be low E, and then you've got twelve ten. Then you've got um, eight on the A and uh, twelve on the low E. And that's your that's your inside picking bit. And then you've got, uh, you just repeat it. 10 8 and then 12 10. Nice and slow. And that, that right there is a good exercise if you wanna. I, I really don't like the feeling of uh, inside picking. And I know Troy Grady says, um, you know, don't let those metal. Those mental hurdles fuck you up, but they do. One more time slow and then we're moving on. You know how I said that with the descending one, you can pretty much shift anywhere and the picking will be the same? Same thing happens here, so you can go, you know. So after eight notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then you move, stay within the key, uh, and start it on the newest string you're doing. A, D, G, B, high E. And there you go. I really don't work on this one, so I'm not gonna give you really rad examples, but uh, look, it's good for working on inside picking, that's for sure. So, you know, if it's easy for you, more power to you. I find it a bit challenging. So add that to your arsenal, and uh, you can teach me how to do it. <laughs> Thank you.